Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stewing 33 Plays Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. My name is Stewing 33. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are off of first person, which is good because I've been told by a couple people that it apparently gives them a headache to watch, which is fine. You know, first person gameplay uh, like PUBG is not for everyone. It's not like we're playing Call of Duty where uh, I'm running around and sort of just shooting at dudes like there's a lot of me like whipping my head around all over the goddamn place for 45 minutes at a time um not a lot of time for your eyes to rest or for your brain to get a break from all the constant movement and whipping around and all that jazz um but yeah we're back we're back playing player knowns battlegrounds uh it's the first recording i'm doing today it's pretty early in the morning here it's like eight or nine a.m i think it's nine yeah my computer says it's nine um so hopefully that won't affect my gameplay too too much We'll be able to live through it. Got a lot of shit to do today, so I've got to do all my recordings pretty early in the morning today. Uh, when I've got a minute. I don't normally have, like, work stuff to do until, like, afternoon, evening. So, um, I'm using the opportunity in the morning here to do this while I've got a shot. Uh, I'm not throwing away my shot. No, I'm not throwing away my shot. Something about being young, scrappy, and hungry. You know, I'm not throwing away my shot. I can take the long dive over to Milta. Probably make it to Milta from here. No, well, let's do that. Let's make a real long fucking dive over to Milta Power. Alright. Pull the chute fairly early here. Go ahead and pump our way over to Milta. There's a chance people are going to get into cars and just, like, get to Milta before us, mind you. But, um, I'm not interested in going to Novo. Novo is fun, but, um, it's not, like, it's not, like, an exceptional spot to drop into. It's essentially condensed Georgia Pole, right? So, like, when you drop into Novo, you're basically dropping into Crate Town and, um, part of North Georgia Pole at the same time. But they're both stunted, so there's, like, it's only houses instead of apartment complexes. And there's, like, less crates, and there's less of, like, pretty much everything that you would want from Georgia Pole. Which is fine. I mean, I'm not too beat up about it, to be honest. But, um, you know, I'm looking for some, I'm looking for that fat loot. I'm looking for a car. I'm looking for, you know, some fat loot. Not your grandma's loot. Energy loot, turbo loot. Uh, it might be worth our time to drop down in that town complex down there. That one right there. Um, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna pump my way over to uh, the factory. If you're wondering how to pump, the key to pumping is to keep your speed somewhere between uh, 35 and 45. Um, if you're going any lower than that, you're not really making any progress. And if you go any higher than that, you're heading towards the ground too fast. Um, so you can get some real big distance out of your parachute if you keep your speed between 35 and 45. Um, I've kind of screwed it up a little bit here because I was talking and looking around and stuff. But um, even then, we still made it all the way from... We jumped out on the other side. We jumped out here, and we made it to here. So you can make some serious distance. Um, I think you can make it about 200 to 300, me 300 yard meters before um, the game really starts, like... Being like, nah, can't do that anymore, son. My FPS is low. Oh, that's because XCOM is still open. Should close that. There we go. Ah, there we go. That's better. Let's move that right the fuck out. Um, cool. All right, here we go. Fucking suck. I'm glad I killed that guy, but holy crap. He was not expecting me. Which is another reason why long pumping is like a good strategy. Uh, people basically need to drive to get to most places. So if you long if you long pump like I just did, right? So we went something like 200, 300, 200, 300 
kilometers, basically. We went a, a considerable distance. Um, how, how far did we actually go? Uh, we jumped here. Each of these squares is a kilometer. We went three kilometers. So 3,000 feet, 3,000 meters from where we dropped. Um, people need to drive if they land. Um, so if they land anywhere nearby, they need to drive to get to where we went to, right? So with that in mind, um, I'm stunned that that guy didn't get away, by the way, because I fucked that up so hard. Um, I was like, I missed the first two shots and was like, well, I'm going to die now because this guy's going to go grab a gun and then kill my ass. But then it turned out to not be the case because um, he was worse than me at the game, apparently. Um, he got jammed up pretty hard. You should have grabbed the shotgun. When he was running in. Should have gra uh, grabbed that shotgun and probably fought back. He would have killed me because I missed three shots with the with the Olympia. I had to reload twice. Once. Something like that. Red jacket. Always wear a jacket when it's raining. Not for any particular reason, mind you. But um, The Vector has not let me down too, too much lately. But if we find anything else... Um, like, if we find a sniper rifle, we'll probably swap the vector for the sniper. Um, not because I don't like the vector. The vector is actually still, to this day, one of my favorite guns in the game. Um, but the vector has one key issue. And that key issue is that without extended mags, the vector's actually garbage. It's actually the worst gun in the game without extended mags. You can't actually kill somebody with the vector with 13 bullets unless you hit every single one of the bullets into them and at least one of them hits them in the head um we were playing with uh, i was playing with my buddy tom and eric yesterday uh, as i want to do as i do all the time um and the three of us were playing and i was holding a, st a staircase with the vector and uh i killed two people with it which was great super happy about it but then um a fourth and a fifth guy came up and uh I hit the bars that were in front of me. I was basically holding a staircase, and there was, like, a railing between me and the stairs. And um, I popped out, killed two guys, which was mostly by just slamming the bullets into, like, their chest and head. Um, I was shredding a lot of um, body armor, like, into unusability. And uh, so we did that, and then, I don't know, uh, the third guy came up, and I missed... A couple bullets. I missed like four or five bullets. They like landed in the rails and stuff. And then he came up and just roasted me with like an AK. <laughs> um, which is fine. Happens. Not upset about it or anything. But um, I'm not in a rush, by the way, because that guy drove a Dazia up to us. So we actually have like the opportunity to not need to. Oh, I should have jumped off. Uh, that's okay. I've got boost. Um, so yeah, he drove us a Dazia, so we can actually, like, use the time here to its fullest. Uh, we will keep the Vector for right now, because, um, it does have extended mags, which makes it significantly better. But, oh, I like an energy drink. We'll place that. Cool. We're looking for a sniper rifle. Got a silencer for it, so, um, a sniper would be nice. Let's find this guy's Dazia. The rain map is the worst, because it throws off my ability to play this game. My already limited capacity, it makes it worse. Oh, let's grab the gas, by the way. Since we're here, we might as well grab the gas. Boink. Cool. We can use the M4 as, like, a pseudo-sniper for right now. Um, I just, I want a sniper rifle, because it, uh, we have the, um, what's it called? We have the optics for it, and we also have the silencer. Which, you know, those are both super great to have. Oh, no. Okay. Just be smart. There we go. Fuck. God damn it. Okay. I'm glad we started driving now, I guess, because that would have... It took me a minute. I want to go check more houses. How far away is the circle? Uh, it's a considerable distance. Let's, uh, let's just drive. Not that it really matters. We're in a Dacia, so, like... Oh, let's check this house. That's an 8x scope. And a grip. I'm glad we stopped. 
or bullets. The 8x scope will be useful. Let's keep searching. I'm really glad we stopped. I always like this house in particular. Um, this type of house is always kind of loot rich. Right. Normally, I would I would drive through the red zone, but um, I'm gonna be honest. It's probably not in our interest to do so because we'd have to drive through the whole red zone, and every like couple seconds you spend inside the red zone is like a better opportunity for you to die. So we're gonna go around it. Fortunately, means we're going to be closer to the blue for a little while here than I'm normally comfortable with, but... Better than being dead. There we go. Now we're back on course. We've got ourselves 3 first aid and 8x scope for our M4, which is actually very useful. Um, Just, uh... Considering the fact that, like, it'll basically give us the opportunity to attack people from, like, a considerable and safe-ish distance. Um, if we had a silencer, that'd be better, but, um, it's fine. It's really not that big of a deal. Lou is coming, so let's get turned out here. There we go. Race away from the blue here. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I guess we're gonna go here, towards school. Ugh. Let's go here. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out somewhere to go. Um, go to ruins, I guess. Drive all the way in. It's not a bad idea. You know, let's let's do that. Let's drive all the way into ruins. We've got we've got gas, so I don't need to worry about dry, bleeding myself dry here. Okay. Easy peasy. We got out our vector, so in the event that we bump into somebody, when we jump out of the car, we'll actually be able to retaliate, assuming that we're close to them. There we go. Skirting along here. I'm not interested in getting near the projects or the school. We've got really good armor. Um... The only thing we don't have is we don't have a level 3 helmet, but it's fine. Um, level 2 will be fine in most situations, and in any situation where it wouldn't be fine, well, we're going to die instantly anyway, so it's not like I can retaliate. I'm going to ignore Flood Town. Go straight into ruins. Puts us in safety from both the red zone and from blue. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's drive this up the staircase. Hopefully there's nobody in the church that's just going to, like, roast us as soon as we get up the stairs here. Fabulous. Awesome. Probably gas that up while we have the opportunity, to be honest. 
People have been here. Slash may still be here. Looks like whoever was here, somebody was here. They came to ruins and looted the place, but um, they've gone, which is fine. I wonder how thorough they were. Kind of, it's hard to be thorough in ruins. I'm gonna be honest. We're probably gonna have a hard time this this uh this episode. You might be asking, well, what makes you say that, stealing? Well, for starts, ruins has been picked through, which means that there are people here who aren't brain dead and only go to the big places. So that means that they're smart. Smart people are dangerous. Um, don't get me wrong, going to spicy locations is good. Um, generally speaking. But, um, you want to be extra careful when you go to spicy locations. Because if you, um, if you go there, you're going to, you know, there's obviously going to be combat. So anybody who survives spicy locations, they're fine. They're good at the game. They've killed people or they're cowards and they hit, right? So totally fine either way. Uh, cowards makes them smart. Good at the video game makes them good at the video game, right? Easy peasy. Um... The problem is people who come here to places like this. They're players like I am, where they strategized out that jumping into a location is bad. So what they, I call them patient hunters. Uh, you guys have seen me do it where I'll wait to shoot at somebody until they're close enough for me to actually hit them properly and then open fire on them. Or they're far enough away where if I fire at them and miss, it doesn't matter. Um... Person, whoever looted this place was not very thorough, which is good for us. That means I can get some gear while we're here. If I poke around a little bit, it's probably going to be stuff here. They probably just went to the church only. If I had a guess. Nobody ever searches the ruins because they're always like, oh, there's no gear in the low ruins. So they went to the biggest building and they probably scuttled off somewhere. Or they're still here. I'm running around like a moron. Okay, hopefully the rain will mask my footsteps and we'll be fine. Yeah, whoever came through here did not search this place very well. They missed a lot of good loot so far. Just that first aid kit alone makes running around here a little bit worth the time. Do you need to be careful because people are probably going to be starting to flood in in this direction. I'm going to have to keep my ears ears open. Which means, luckily for you people, I will stop rambling so much. So I'll be listening a little bit more intently than I normally do. Here comes the blue. Here comes the blue. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the blue. And I say, it's all right. I've got all three grades of sight that I need in order to, like, secure myself a good position in every single room. Basically, you need the, the 8x is for really long range shots, the 4x is for medium range, and then the red dots for close, right? So as the circle closes, I'll swap down because the 8x is worthless during, like, the next, like, not this circle, but the next circle, it'll be worthless. The 4x will still be useful, but the 8x not so much. Then, after that circle, the 4x is worthless. Uh, the, everybody's too close together for it to be worth your time to use it. Then you swap back down to the red dot site after that. And then you're, then you're as low as you can go. And then after that, you start switching to close range weaponry. So we're talking shit like, I'm using nothing but the vector. 
instead of the M4. Uh, the M4 can be used as a close range weapon because it goes full auto, but um, it's not nearly as good as the Vector in close range. The Vector just fires more bullets quicker and in a tighter spread, um, making it just kind of all around better at close range. Alright. And we make our egress. I guess the question is where the where is are we going to go? Right? Like where's the circle gonna bounce to? So I think what we'll do is we'll hang out on the edge. There's twenty other people besides me right now. I've not bumped into a single one of them yet. Which, as I always say, is mildly scary. Let's find somewhere, like, safe-ish to hunker down for right now. I'm gonna be honest, outside of Georgia Pool, probably not where we want to be. You know, everybody's probably left by now. It's probably fine. Just to be safe, we will occupy a building instead of standing outside. The idea of a flash hider for an SMG is hilarious to me, because, like, if you're using the SMG where it belongs, you're probably close enough where hiding your flash isn't going to be useful. Alright. I'm just nervous. I Like, this building's not great for hunkering down in, because you can't, like, cover your head. Beige padded jacket. Alright, let's see where the circle goes. We'll hide in this corner over here. What do we got? Boop. Ooh, over hospital, huh? Right, grab the Daz. Gonna go to that set of buildings right there. Okay, because I don't remember the flight path for the airplane, but I'm pretty sure it drove people over hospital. So there's probably people in hospital, or they're not. You know, people actually have a tendency to leave the hotter places after they're done looting them. So there's somebody in this building next door to us. Not the one with the Dazia in it, the the platform building. I feel like we should go deal with them now. While we can, basically. The only thing that's scary is that I don't know where they are. But they have, like, this jeep is, like, jammed up in front of this thing like this. The 
But they didn't fire at me when I got close, so... There's also a chance there's nobody in here. Like, that Jeep's been there for a while. Or it's broken, or it's out of gas, or... A hundred possibilities. But we'll, we'll hide in this room. We'll let someone else deal with the dude upstairs. So there's definitely somebody upstairs, by the way. And I've just told them that I'm here. scary. Take his backpack. Alright. Oh, that's taken care of. Wait right here until the blue closes in. So that if we see anybody like that. Okay, anyway. Alright, if we're gonna go, we gotta go now. We should take the Dazia with us for cover. Big Ed had a level 3 helmet on him. Okay. Ow. That hurt a lot. Oh, damn it. He must have been right behind me. Uh, all right. That's okay. That's, you know, it's still a good round. That's going to do it for this episode, though. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, don't subscribe to keep up to date. I want to post more videos. If you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow. Helps me out a great deal. But, of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!